Hey CCA, welcome to Tumble AB with Coach Julie and Sophie. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to start with a warm up. Um, then we're going to do some lines like we normally do in a tumble. And then we're going to do a nice big long stretch before we get into any circuits, okay? So make sure you guys have a little bit of a space where you guys can move around. And we'll get started. So, first up is 30 seconds of jumping jumps. Ready, set, go. Keep going, big arms up, big wide jumps. One more seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Steph, we have 30 seconds of running on the spot. Ready, set, go. Run, 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 run. Keep going. 25 more seconds. Keep your knees moving, arms going back and forth. Keep going. Keep going no matter what. Try and stay in the same spot. You've got it, you've got it. Run, 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 run on the spot. Keep going, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, next up we're gonna do running on the spot two. This time we're gonna bring our knees up. We're gonna try and bring them in front of us while we run. Yes? Okay, ready, set, go, knees up. Keep going. This is the timer. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Good job, team. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna do the more time. We're gonna try and kick our heels to our bums. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. <laughs> going. Try to kick those bums. Keep your chest up really tall. Try to keep your arms moving so we can warm up our arm muscles. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Okay, we're going to do jump squats. So it's going to look like a jumping jack. We're going to add a squat to it, so we're going to jump. Okay, good job, guys. So next up is 30-second jump squat, so we're going to jump out really wide. We're, we're sitting in a chair. Jump back in. Out. In. Try and sit. Pretend you're sitting down in that chair. Put your mom all the way back, nice and slow. It's not about going fast. Good. Keep going. Keep jumping. Knees in and out. In and out. Ten more seconds. You can do it. Come on. Two, one. Good job, you guys. Okay, go. Next one is we're gonna do jump up and down on our toes. And we're gonna try and do arm circles at the same time. Little baby circles with your fingers. Okay, ready, set, go. Good job, keep backwards, circles. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, give yourself a shake. All right, guys, now that you have your drink of water, next up is we're going to set up for some lunges. So what I want everyone to do is find a nice little clear place where you can. We're going to just do the same set of lunges as we do in our tumbling classes. We're just going to do them on the spot. So first up is our lunges. So we're going to put your hands on your hips. You're going to take one big step forwards, step for your lunge, step back together, and then opposite foot forwards. We're going to do 10 on each leg. Good, making sure you're bending both knees. Get your bent knees close to the ground as you can without actually touching your ground. Nine, 
Good job, guys. Give yourself a little shake again. Okay. Same. We're going to same thing, but we're going to step backwards. Okay, so hands on your hips. Come up. So you're making sure there's nothing behind you. And you're going to take a step backwards, bending both knees. Whoa. Feet together. Backwards. Feet together. It's okay if you wobble, just keep pushing through. Nice and slow, keeping your knees nice and bent. You should be hurting. Should be pushing your muscles. Last one. Whew. Good job, guys. Give yourself a little shake, 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 shake. Okay, next up is our side lunges. So, find a nice, wide open space like we are. Put our feet together. We're going to start with this side first. So, you're going to start with one side. Right side or left side, so your choice. Okay? Hands in front. We're going to take a nice, big, open step on a 45. Toes open. Sit down on your squat. Feet back together. Okay, step up to your front foot. And then back down again. Okay, ten of these. Good, pretend you're sitting right back down on the chair. Keeping your chest up, don't kiss your knees. There you go. Making sure your heels are flat on the ground for your squat, okay? Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Turn our face the other way, and you're doing the opposite leg now. Go. On that 45, open it up really tall. Open it really wide. Keep your chest up tall. Good job. Keeping your heels on the ground, sitting down in that chair. Get your bum down. Make sure you're stepping backwards. Two. And last one. Good job. Feet together. Give yourself a shake, shake, shake. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out, shake okay, it out. Okay, next thing that's up is our opposite leg, arm to opposite leg kick. So we're putting our arms up in a nice straight T, chest up tall, feet down. Okay, we're going to opposite arm, opposite leg kick in front of you. And then swing and touch the other leg. Good. So remember, you're swinging opposite. So you're going to kick this leg up and reach with this hand. And then put it down. And then swing. Good. Okay, 10 on each leg. Ready? Go. Keeping your other arm out in a nice strong T. Don't drop your arms just because one's reaching forwards. <clears throat> Good, keep reaching. Try and keep your knees as straight as you can. 10, 10. Good job, guys. Give yourselves a nice little shake, shake, shake. Okay, next thing's up is our bear walks. Okay, bear walks are going to be a little bit harder because we don't have a big wide open gym like we normally do. So you guys are going to do bear walks in a circle. So what that looks like is, set up for your bear walk, okay? You're going to do a bear walk, but you're going to bear walk in a circle, okay? So we're going to bounce between our toes in a circle. Good. Try and keep your hands in one spot. Bounce between your toes in a nice circle. Go. Good. Keep going. Moving your hands. Good. Okay? So what I want you to think about when you're doing this one is you're in your hands, and you're going to bounce between your toes. Through our sides here, through our shoulder, we're not falling over. 
Try to keep that chest nice and wide open. Good job, guys. Stay, stay stretching on that same side. Two arms up to your ears. We're going to try and flat back to that same side. When we're doing our flat back, I really want you guys to think about your chest is coming down and your arms are staying all the way up to your ears and you're folding into a flat back like your back is nice and flat like a table. Good, and then reach down for that toe, keeping your knees as straight as you can. Don't bend your knees. If you can't touch your toe, I want you to just reach for it. Good, coming all the way over to the center, I want you to grab your elbows, and I want you to push your elbows into the ground as, straight, as close as you can. You can't actually touch your ground, elbows to the ground, but try. Good, okay, then we're gonna reach over to the other foot. See how close to those toes you can go. Good, keeping those knees nice and straight, bum up in the air. It's okay if you fall over, get back up. Good. And then we're gonna come up to our flat back on that side. So remember, nice big wide stance, arms up to our ears, folding over nice and flat with our back. Try and keep those arms up to your ears. Hold that stretch. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, keep holding it. And give it a shake. Two arms all the way up to your ears, hand on that hip, same side. Reach, stretch all the way over to that side. Good, keep your chest nice and open. Good job, feet together. Two arms all the way up to the top. Feet together. And reaching all the way down for those ankles and those toes. Can I if, touch them? if you can touch your toes, I want you to touch your toes, but your knees need to be straight. Mm -hmm. If you can't, then I want the same thing. I want you to grab your elbows and I want you to push your elbows as close to the ground as you can. Keeping your knees nice and straight. Good job. Okay, sitting on our bones. Feet together. Nice big butterfly sits. Good. Remember, we're thinking about keeping the backs of our legs back here is what we need to work on trying to push into the ground. Okay? So our hand feet together, knees are nice and wide open, arms all the way up to our ears, and pushing all the way through to the front. Keeping your bum on the ground and pushing your legs down. Don't let them come up, push them down. Good. Good job, guys. Keep breathing into it. Good. Set up nice and tall, feet all the way up in front of you. Nice pike sit. Chest up really, really tall. Arms all the way up, and I want you to point those toes as hard as you can. Point your toes as hard as you can, and then pull all the way over and see how close to those toes you can get. If you can't touch your toes, reach as far as you can. Here, perfect. If it's here, great. Good job. Okay, keeping those ankles as close together as you can. Don't let them come apart. Good. Stay so up nice and tall. I want you to flex those feet, but point those tippy toes to the ceiling. Good. Okay, and we're saying we're going to reach arms all the way up, and we're going to reach for those toes. If you can get to those toes, great. If you can't, keep pushing. Okay? If you can grab those toes, I'm going to try pulling them up off the ground. Drive the backs of your knees into the mat. Good job. Sitting up tall. Okay, we're going to flex our toes. Point our toes. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Okay, now we're going to take some glue. We're going to glue the insides of our shoes together, insides of our feet together right here. We're going to glue our feet together so they're not allowed to come apart. Okay, we're going to flex our toes, and we're going to point our toes. We're going to flex our toes, we're going to point our toes. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Good job. Okay, now give it a little shake, let that glue come apart. We're going to open up our toes, nice big smiley face. Great sad face, smiley face, sad face, smile, crazy. All over the place. Good job, guys. Okay, now we're open up to our style sits. Good job, okay? Nice big wide straddle sit. Chest up tall. So remembering, in our straddle sit, our knees have to be facing the ceiling or they need to be facing behind us. Don't let them cave in. Push them all the way back as far as you can. Yes? Good job, okay? Arms all up to our ears. We're gonna turn, we're gonna look at our shoe, and we're gonna fold over and we're trying as close to our shoe as we can. If you can grab your laces, great. Remembering that knee and that shoe facing out. Don't let it cave in. Good job, sitting up nice and tall again. Give yourselves a little shake. Arms all the way up. Try and look at the opposite foot. And reach as close to the shoe as you can get. Try and grab for those laces. Making sure your knees stay nice and straight and they're pointing up or they're pointing behind you. Good. Try to make sure you're pointing those, to those toes too. I know I don't have to say that. But just remind, pointing all those toes. Good job, sitting up nice and tall. Two arms all the way up to the ceiling. And then reaching all the way through to the center. This one we really, really have to think about those knees. Making sure the knees do not cave in. We gotta let them stay nice and open. Push them backwards. Use these inside muscles right here. Whew. That's hard. <laughs> it 
knees. And give yourselves a little shake, 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 shake. Oh, okay. Good job, guys. Okay, we're coming up on our hands and our knees now. Okay, so I'll take them in front of us. Put them on the ground. Sit back on your heels. I'm going to do a little rock back and forwards. Good job. Okay, we're trying those up, stop, signs up, stop signs upside down. Same thing. Get a nice little rock back and forth on your toes. Good job. Okay, split them like a seal. Or, or. Put them on the ground. And you're going to go side to side. Good job. Nice. Make a nice little circle all the way around them. Good trying. Okay, hard one. Ready? Cross your elbows now. So you're going to keep one hand on the ground. You're going to cross the other one. And we're going to make a nice hourglass. Good job. Okay, little tiny rock side to side on this one. Stretch just enough so it's uncomfortable. Good job. Okay, hands together, milkshake. You're going to make a strawberry milkshake? I'm going to make a chocolate milkshake. Ready? Shake it, shake, shake, shake it out. Good. Okay, roller coasters. Roll it out. I'm the rainbow one. Okay, and an upside down roller coaster. Roll it out. Good job. Okay. Last one. We're going to sit on our bums. Knees up in front of us. We're going to put one foot up on top. And then we're going to roll out those ankles. So I'm going to do pretend there's a paintbrush on the tip of your toe. And I want you to either draw your name or write your favorite word. You choose. Good job. Okay, when you finish that one, I'm going to take the other leg, put it up on top. And do the same thing with that toe. Draw it all out with that side. Or just do circles. You choose. So as long as you're rolling and rotating those ankles out, we want them to be nice and strong and nice and ready for a little pressure. Good job. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is go get a drink of water. Drink of water. All right. Time to warm up our bridges. So we're going to start with three long bridges, and then we're going to do three short bridges. So bridges are a really critical skill for all of our time lengths. Remember, we have to have super strong, super comfortable bridges. So we're going to start with our long bridges first. Okay, ready? You're going to go up and down on your own count and until it's ready. So we're going to push up to our bridge. Three small bridges and then long. Long bridge first. Okay, three long bridges. Push up to that long bridge. Arms in nice and close to your ear. Walk those feet close together. Try and strengthen those knees. And push your chest past your fingers. Three, two, one. Come on down. Grab your knees. Give yourself a little rock and roll. Push up to another long bridge. Push up to another long bridge. Three, two, one, push up. Walk those feet together. Try and push your nose past your fingers. Long bridge first. Long bridge. Good, try and come on down. Good, okay, last one, long bridge. Three, two, one, push up to the long bridge. Good job. And come on down, give yourselves a little rock and roll, and then start on your three short bridges. Ready? Three, two, one. Push up to your short bridge. Okay, short bridges are, remember, we're pushing up really strong. Arms in close to our ears. We're going to try and walk our feet and our hands together as close as we can. Make that bridge as short as we can. Good job. This one's, this one's extra hard. This one's really going to work on our shoulder flexibility. Go for it again. Three, two, one. Good. Arms and feet close together. Good. Nice try and walking. Okay. And last one. Got it. Three, two, one, closer together. Good job. Come on down. Give yourself a nice little hug for that rock and roll. Stretch out the back, stretch out those shoulders. Good job. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna go on to our circuit. Okay, four hour circuit. You see what I have in my living room right now? Yeah. So that's all we're gonna work on. What I want you guys to do is have a nice couch that you guys have parents' permission to be able to sit on and take a cushion off of. We're gonna need a cushion. A couch, you're going to need a pillow, you're going to need a tea towel, and you're going to need either the back of a couch or a wall. You choose whatever you're more comfortable with, whatever your parents are safer with, okay? Make sure that you guys are staying safe this whole time. Awesome? Okay. Pause, please. All right, circuit time. So our, our stations are going to be one minute each. I'm going to talk you through each and every station, okay? So first station is going to be our clap, lunge, reach. Station. So what we're going to use for that is you guys, this is where you guys need the back of the couch or a wall. You choose. Okay? So we're going to stand facing our, yep, we're going to show our path day position, which is our clap up, arms up, punch. Good. Tuck in real tight. We're going to take a nice big step out for our lunge. This is our lunge. And then we're going to do a nice big lean. We're going to 
going to lean and try to push into that couch. Our elbows nice to be nice and straight. And our heads are tucked down in between our elbows. Try to keep this back leg as straight as you can. If you are not reaching when, you put, when you're pushing into the couch, it means you're too close. So let's take a step backwards. Okay, ready, set, go. Good. Pushing back up, arms up, back two feet together. Good. Big lean, good. Nice push. Little clap up, big lunge, big lean, good. Big clap, big lunge, big lean, good. Okay, keep going. Clap out, big lunge. Don't forget our clap snare at the very beginning of all of our skills, right? Good, we gotta work on those drivers for cheerleaders. Good. Big clap up. There you go, big lunge, big lean. Good, push together. Yeah. Very nice. I love that your arms are nice and straight over your head. Big clap up, big lunge. Big lean. Good job. Nice and pushing through those shoulders. All right, last one, and then we're going to move on to the next drill. Good job, guys. All right, next drill is going to be our tuck roll. So we're going to stand up really, really straight, ideally on a nice soft surface. If you guys don't have a chair mat, you can use a yoga mat, or we can use a cushion off of our couches if our parents say it's okay. So we're going to stand up really, really tall. We're going to keep our arms up by our ears. See our ears and our arms up tall? We're going to tuck all the way down into a nice little tuck, and let's fall. We're going to roll our bums backwards. Stay in a nice little tight ball. We're going to keep our arms over top of our ears. We're going to put our toes back up. Reach your no knees and your nose together. Stand all the way back up with our arms up tall. Good? Okay. Do your very best. Try not to cross your ankles. And keep those tight little, tight, tight, tight little snowball. Just like we can, okay? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. One minute. Here we go. Arms up tall. Tuck. Roll. Knees. Push. Good, nice try. Remember, push that chest through those knees, arms up to your ears. Good, try again. You can do it. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through your knees up, push through your nose. Good, okay? You got it. What? Good, keep pushing through. Good, push, 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 push. You got it. You got it. You got it. Reach through, reach through. That's okay. Keep trying. Reach through. Okay, good. And stand up tall. You want to try and make sure your shoulders go to your toes when you come forwards, because that's going to help the mo your momentum, and that's actually going to help drive you forwards. Okay, arms up to your ears. Good, sit back, roll up, tuck tight, push through, reach through, up, up, up. Good. Try not to use your hands to help you push up. Try and keep your hands pushing yourself forwards. Go. Keep on going. Good. Squeeze, 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 push up through, push up through, push up through, reach. Good stuff. Okay, last one. Last one, ready, one more, we can do it. Arms up tall, push down, knees up, tuck tight, squeeze up, push through, and up. Good job. Give them your tuck hop station. Okay, so what we're gonna do is feet together, arms up real tall, hands are on the ground. I want you to think about putting them a little bit in front of you, not all the way in front of you, just a little bit in front of you. Elbows are staying locked out in here. We're gonna try and tuck and hop our butts all the way up and over top of our shoulders while keeping our heels close to our butts. We're gonna go three, two, one, big taco. Good, okay, ready, set, one minute. Good, keep going. Come upside down, right side up when you need to. Big tuck up, get that bum up and over top of your shoulders. Good, keep your feet nice and close to your bum, knees in tight. Big jumps, you've got it. Big hop up, landing back on those toes. It's gonna start to work your shoulders, it's gonna start to work your legs. Keep trying. Take a breath when you need to, and then put your toes back under, arms back out again, and big hops up, good. Try and keep those heels and those bum nice and close together. Keep going. You've got it. Okay. It's not fast. It's just controlled. One at a time. Bum up, feet down. Big jump up, feet down. Big jump up, feet down. Okay. You can do it. Keep trying. On your toes. Good. Big hop up. Good. Big hop up. Good. Three, two, one. Okay. Next drill. Let's work on those legs. So we're going to try and do our tuck jumps. For one whole minute on the floor. So this is the time if you have your chair mat, this is where you're doing it on your chair mat. If you have a nice cushion off of your couch, you can do it, jump it on top of your cushion. As long as it's pushed up against something solid so you're not slipping around anywhere. Okay? Yeah, you're gonna push up. Okay? Push up so it's not slipping anywhere. So you're gonna jump on top of there. We're gonna jump up and over and over and over and over again, okay? Are we ready? You ready? Yeah. Here we go. And go! Good. Bringing those knees up to your nose. Try and knees all the way up. Knees up, knees 
up, knees up, knees up. Good job. Keep going as many as you can. You got it. Keep going. Knees up to your nose. Knees up to your nose. Knees up, knees up. Good. Okay. Knees up to your nose. Keep going, keep going. Good job. Okay, this should be making your legs tired. You should be getting feeling a little bit tired inside. But you're strong. You got this. Push through. Good, good. Keep going. Try and stay in the middle of your mat. In the middle of your cushion so you're not slipping or falling or going anywhere. Keep going. In the middle? Yeah, in the middle right there. Good job. 20 more seconds. You can do a push through those last 20 seconds without stopping. Here we go. Without stopping. Go. Good, good. No stopping, no stopping. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Okay, knees up as much as you can. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. Knees up. Knees up as much as, yes, there you go. Much better. Knees up in front of you. You got it, okay? All right, that's one minute. Okay, next row we're, gonna, next row we're doing is called pillow stand-ups. So you guys are going to need a pillow of any kind, cushion, stuffy, you choose what it is. Make sure it's not heavy, but it's there, okay? We're going to put it down in front of us. We're standing on our chair mat or something soft or our squishy mat, yoga mat kind of thing. Arms all the way up to our ears, and then we're going to reach all the way down, straight elbows, grab that pillow. We're going to bring it all the way over top of our head, and then bring it all the way back down again. Good, okay? Stand up. Okay, so this drill is not about speed. This drill is not about doing as many times as you can. The drill is about keeping your arms as straight as you can, all the way up, and then all the way back down again. Don't rush it, okay? Yes? All right, let's see. If in a, how many can you do in a minute? Nice and slow and controlled. Here we go. All right, timer's on. Reach all the way down your pillow. Pick it all the way back up again, all the way back down again. Keeping your arms beside your ears the whole time. Don't let them come apart. Keep them up, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Good job, guys. Okay, all the way back down again. Squeeze your butt muscles, help you up there. Good, keep going nice and slow, nice and controlled, all the way down. Try and keep those arms beside your ears the whole time. Okay, you got it, you got it. Arms all the way up, arms all the way back down again. Okay, keeping your arms beside your ears the whole time. Don't let them come apart. Don't let them come apart. Keep them together, keep them together. Good, you got it. Okay, keep going, all the way up. Take a couple of deep breaths if you need to, that's right. Okay. Arms all the way up, 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 up. Oh, don't let them come apart, right? Keep them there the whole time. Good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good job. Squeeze them up. Squeeze them up. Squeeze them up. You got it. Okay. Ten more seconds. You can do it. Let's see if you can get two more in that ten seconds. Arms up by your ears the whole time. You can do it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Go, 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 go. And one. See if we get that last one in quick. Good job, guys. All right. Next show we're going to work on. We're going to work some shoulder flexibility. We're going to work a little bit into our falling into our bridge while we're staying very, very safe. So we're going to use the back workout where it's nice and soft. We're going to use our nice soft mat underneath of us. Okay? So we're going to go on our knees, arms up all the way up to our ears, and with our backs to the mat. We're going to keep our knees shoulder width apart. We're going to try and keep our ankles together at the back. Okay? While our belly buttons are still pushing out, we're going to reach back, touch it up, couch real quick, and stand back up again. Over and over and over again, as many times as you can um, in a minute. Ready? Here we go, and go. Arms up, reach back, good, okay? Remember, keeping those hip, that belly button pushed out as much as you can right here, and go, arms up. Oh, my knee's telling that. Good, reach, touch, good, and stand back up. Okay, remember when you're standing back up, I'm gonna push out with both shoulders, don't leave one behind. Just keep both of them coming up every single time, all the way back, all the way back up. Here we go, good, push, good. Keep using those tummy muscles, use these hip flexor muscles. All the way back, push off and stand back up again. Good, keep going guys. All the way up, arms are really, really straight. Squeeze through those elbows, nice and strong. Don't let your hips fall. Keep those hips up the whole time. Belly button out, good. Belly button out the whole time, especially when we're standing up. Okay, you got it, arms up, elbows are straight. Squeeze back through, push, stand up real tall. Good, keep squeezing. Arms up, fish back, big squeeze up. Good, try and keep these elbows nice and straight as much as you can. Reach up, push back. Good job, guys. I know you can, I know you can. Good job, that was last a minute. Good. All right, next show we're gonna work on, we're gonna keep working on that shoulder flexibility, okay? So we're working for the standing into our bridge as well as all of our walkover skills. So we're gonna use our nice soft couch, back of our couch again. So we're gonna lay down on our back. These ones we're gonna call bridge kisses. So we're gonna push up to our bridge with our we're facing uh, the back of our couch. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, pop up. Show them how it's done. Okay, go for it, push up. Good, and while you're 
upside down, you're going to try and walk yourself, you're going to try and kiss the back of the mat. So you're going to try and push these hips and push the back. Okay? You're going to push one, two, three, then you come on down a little bit, take a nice little rock and roll. When we come out of our bridge, what's the first thing that comes out of our bridge? Our butt, our hips. Your bum has to come down before your head comes down. Don't bend those elbows to come out of your bridge. Okay? Are you ready? Do it on your own count. Or do one minute at a time or do as many as you can while you're upside down and come down when you need to. Don't stay up too long so that your face gets really red, okay? Got this? My face is already red. A little bit. But we got this. Yeah? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Here goes the timer. And push up. Good. Try and kiss that mat. Kiss, up, kiss that wall. Kiss the back of that couch. Mwah! 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 Come down. Give yourself a nice little rock and roll, okay? Remember, when we come out of our bridge, the first thing to come down needs to be our bottoms, not our heads. Okay, three, two, one, push back up again. You got it. Push up, push up, push up, good. Okay, now try and give that couch a nice big kiss. Nice, mwah, mwah, mwah. Kiss it, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. Good job, guys. Come on down, grab those knees. Rock and rolls. Good job, push. Okay, you got it. And here we go, a couple more times before we already finish this drill. Okay, push back up to that bridge. Try and push those knees, chest up really tall, try and kiss that mat. Or kiss, kiss that mat. Kiss that cat back of the couch. Ready? Three, two, one. Kiss. Mwah, mwah. You can do it. Push up. Good job, guys. You can do it. Nice push up through. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Good job. Grab those knees and rock and roll. Mom, can I go downstairs now? Okay, so for our next drill, we're going to be working on a little bit of a power for our shoulders. So we need those for our handstands, we need it for our cartwheels, we need it for our round offs, we need it for our handsprings as we get through there, okay? So we need to learn to isolate these shoulder muscles in these shoulder shrugs here. So what we're going to do that is we're going to find a nice spot to lay on the ground. Ideally, we're going to do it against a wall, okay? So a nice wall here where there's nothing that you're going to touch, okay? You're going to lay flat. You're going to put your hands in stop signs against the wall so that way they're, they're flat like this over top of your shoulders. Yes? We're gonna work on squeezing all of our body. Squeeze through these muscles, squeeze these ankles together as much as you can. And you're gonna try to shrug your shoulders and push into the mat. Good, should be a nice little pulse. You can see your body, Sophie's body moving just a little bit every single time. Try to squeeze through the shoulders and push away from that wall. Push away from that wall, okay? Making sure your hands are staying flat against the wall. No fingertips, plant whole hands, <laughs> okay? Okay, ready, set, as many as you can in a minute, go. Shrug through the shoulders, push the hands are flat, push away from that mat. Good, nice shoulder shrug. Push, push into that mat with your hands. Push, flat hands the whole time. Don't let those fingers come off, keep it nice and even. Squeeze through the rest of your body. Good, that's it, exactly. You wanna see just this little motion happening right through here. You should see, feel it in between your arm and your ear. Did you feel them squeezing into you? Don't make it a big bend, make it just a little push through here. Okay, good. Just a nice little squeeze. Push through those shoulders, you want to push up into that wall, up into that wall every single time. Push into it like you'd be pushing something away from you. Push, push, push. Push into that wall and get it away from you. Push. Don't forget about your rest of your legs though. You want to keep everything squeezed all the way through here like you would in a regular handstand. Push into that ground, squeeze. Good. Push into that ground and squeeze. Okay, ready? For the last 10 seconds, we're going to push and we're going to hold. Ready? Push. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze your ankles, squeeze your knees. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your tummy. Push through those shoulders, squeeze. Push those hands. Good work. Okay guys, so it's really important for all our muscles that we're building them for the drills, but we're also strengthening them. So at the end of all of our classes, you know it, we gotta do a little bit of conditioning, okay? So our first set of our conditioning, we're gonna do all of our conditioning's holds for 20 seconds, okay? So our first set we're gonna do is we're gonna do planks for 20 seconds. Okay, so all the way on our bellies. That's a hollow hold. Yeah, over on your belly. Hollow. Over on your belly, okay? Elbows underneath of us. Okay, we're gonna push up on our toes. And we're gonna hold up all the body. We're gonna think about trying to keep our hips down and our shoulders over top of our elbows. Okay, ready? And 19, 8, 16, 15, 14, 15, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, guys. Okay, standing up tall. We're trying to get pull up. We're okay. We are going to do forward and backward toss. So, remember that nice towel we had to use earlier? We're going to use it as a line. Okay? We're going to stand in front of our line. Let me do it. On our tippy toes. Okay, stand up. Okay, hands on our hips. And we're going to hop over top of it. 
then we're up backwards. Okay, forward and backwards, 20 times. Ready, set, go. Go and try to keep your hips nice and even. Keep your shoulders under your hands underneath of your shoulders. Okay, come on, ten more. We're almost there. Remember, opposite arms and opposite legs. Not the same side. It's hard. You've got it. Love it. 
seven. tall. If you can, you're going to reach backwards and pull that back leg. Same thing, trying to drive up that thigh into the ground. We're going to sit up and you're going to lean all the way backwards, aiming for that front foot. Sit up one more time, see if we can flex that toe. Good job. All the way back up. Two hands on the inside of your leg. Driving the top of that thigh into the ground. Push back one more time. Good stuff. And then we're going to slide it onto our splits. Okay, we're thinking about keeping your chest up tall. Don't lean too far forward. And then we keep both of your knees on the ground. If this is where you are, fantastic. Making sure that front leg stays straight. And we're going to push that side back leg straight. Okay, if you're on the ground, you're sitting up tall. Alright, we're sit there. Oh, I'm getting out a little shake, 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 shake. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Now you do the opposite leg, okay? Stay up really, really straight. First, take that. Opposite oh. leg back. Okay, we're gonna reach down to the ground. Try to push that back leg into the ground. Good job, so you can come down on your elbows. Drop that back knee, so you can push a little bit farther. Push that top of your thigh into the ground, right here. Good job, we're gonna set up really tall. Call the back into your heel, reaching all the way forward for that toe. Keeping this leg nice and straight. Good job, now sit up, so you can flex that toe while you're stretching. You should feel just stretch a little bit different. You should be stretching the back of your, your calf instead of up in your thigh. Good, now point that toe, reach forward one last time. Good stuff, all the way up again. Drive that thigh into the ground, right here. Sit back, last one. Good job, and sliding out into your splits. Okay, remember, if you're off the ground, try and keep both legs nice and straight. It's okay if you're off the ground. Okay, closer to the ground, the more I want you to sit up. Okay, sitting up's gonna hurt more, but it's gonna help to work, like gravity work for you. Good job, guys. Do your legs a little shake, 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 shake. Great, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna work on our center splits now, okay? So what we think about is we're gonna go on our knees, we're gonna do a frog sit. What I want you to think about is making sure that your hips and your knees stay in a straight line the entire time. Okay, so we're gonna split your knees as wide as you can, reaching in, and then we're opening up through here, okay? Keeping your knees all up through your hips into a line in the line. Pushing all the way into the ground. See how close you can get yourself into your middle split. Push this side of your hip into the ground. 
using your shoulders and your foot and you're using your shoulder pushing through here into it good switch to the other side okay opening up your legs at the same time good job guys okay here we go same thing we practice with the frog sits keeping your hips in line with your heels all the way down so you're gonna slide all the way up to those middle splits keeping it all in a straight line okay if you're here stay here if you can go to your elbows go to your elbows if you can go flat go flat go to where it's uncomfortable but not painful but push yourselves okay A little shake, 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 shake. Good stuff. Let's do a nice quick arm stretch because we worked on some arms earlier. Good job, guys. Nice stretch over. I'm going to rotate out all those wrists. Push them down and side to side. Squeezing them in and out. Push, push, push. Thanks for coming, guys. Have a good one.